Welcome to Table for One. I'm the narrator, and today I'm going to be playing Under Falling Skies. Uh, in this video, I'll be playing part two of the first chapter of the campaign. Um, so if you're concerned about spoilers, this is not a video for you. Uh, I've got some spoiler-free content on Under Falling Skies that you can find on my channel. Uh, but if you are concerned about spoilers, you're going to want to click out of this video uh, before these intro credits are done. Let's get rolling. So I'm all set up now for the second battle of the first chapter of the Under Falling Skies campaign. Um, so of the options I had left, um, I am going to play Mexico City, and that unfortunately means that Rio has been destroyed, uh, sadly, with the reporter, um, as well as uh, the scenario evacuation. I didn't get to try that one out, so that'll be for another time. So I'm doing Mexico City along with, I've got the pilot, uh, Clinton Harper here, and then this scenario here. Uh, so on this little scenario card, it's a three-panel comic with a jet going after a uh, an alien ship, and looks like it shot it down. It says one down. With the pilot here, pretty excited about it. Maybe you should put that mask back on. I don't know. I don't know anything about fighter jets, but um, and it says one thousand two hundred ninety-five to go. So the radar is sort of full of ships there. Um, and that looks like the Washington Monument, even though we're in Mexico City, but that's okay. So in the back, this is Battle for the Sky. For some reason, the enemy has decided to hit this city extra hard. So during the setup, he placed the orange ship and one white ship on the mothership to be spawned at the end of the first round. Um, and the rules just say the orange ship follows standard rules for the purple ships. Effectively, you're facing six regular ships in this scenario. And the pilot's one-time ability is shoot down one enemy ship on an explosion space. Uh, so that's good to have. And Mexico City's special ability, and this is why I really chose uh, this group of tiles rather than that group. Uh, Mexico City says, whenever you place a die to move the excavator, four spaces or less, move the excavator immediately, and this costs no energy. Uh, leave the die under the excavator until the room's phase. So I think that's pretty cool, and I want to try it out. Um, I'm also playing this uh, this time on a one-star difficulty. Uh, so it's a little bit casual, but should still be fun. So uh, randomly selected this tile here is the one that's flipped over. Uh, so I think that means we we hit this uh, end game one one space sooner. So let's get started. We got a five, a four, a three, a two, and a one. Uh, well, I can move the excavator up to four spaces immediately, uh, but I don't know that any of these next unlock spaces really do much for me. Uh, so it might be worth it to just use the five and pay the one energy to get it moving a little further. Mm, but I don't really want the five in that leftmost column. So four it is. We'll go ahead and put the four here. So this moves immediately with no energy. And we still have to move the ship down. Okay. I think I'm gonna put this three right here. It's a good spot for it. And then the five is gonna go here on this energy space. All right, so I've got a two and a one. Neither of those really does much for me. I'm gonna put the one here, so nothing in the rightmost column moves, and I re-roll. Six, now that could be useful. I'm gonna put that here in the research uh, room. All right, so now we go to the rooms phase. We can put the excavator down and take that die back. Um, 
This won't do anything. I can attack at three minus one, so that's two. So I'm gonna take out two ships that way. So this is done. And now let's gain energy five minus one, so I gain four energy. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to spend two energy to get six research. One, two, three, four, five, six. All in all, that was pretty good. Now the mothership moves down. We gain another uh, of the white ships. And now we need to load them up on the, uh, the hell the space is called? Drop points, on the drop points. So we've got a couple of purple ones here. And the orange is treated as a purple, so that'll have to go here. And one white ship is in a spawn spot. And um, there's, a, there's another white ship that's just no room for. So now we're gonna reroll. Next round. It's looking pretty okay so far. Six, five, four, and two threes. So I'll have to pay for it, but I actually want to move the excavator six this time because I'm expecting it to probably go backwards two. So if it goes backwards two from here, one, two, then this big room will still be available to do some, uh, some serious research in. So that's a six. I think I'm gonna place this four right here. We'll get some energy out of it. That space is occupied, so it can't slide, and now we can re-roll. Let's see what else we get. All right. So I'm gonna put the six here, and we'll get some energy for that too. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, this won't be super valuable, but I'm gonna put this three here. So this moves one, two, three, one, two, three. Is that what I wanted? And then that slides. That's not what I wanted at all. But unfortunately, that's what I placed. I thought I was going to take out that white ship somehow. That didn't happen. Whoopsie. Well, we're just going to take this five and place it here on this empty slot. Uh, to avoid bringing the mothership down more quickly. Um, okay, not my best round, but we're going to spend one energy to move the excavator. One, two, three, four, five, six. This won't do anything. Uh, this will still attack at three minus one, so that's two. So I still hit this one. I could use the character, the pilot's special ability to take out any one of these ships, but they would all respawn. If one of them was a white ship, I would use it. So I'll hold off on that. And now I gain four minus one energy. One, two, three. And now six minus two. One, two, three, four. Now the mothership moves down. The excavator goes back two spaces, as I expected, and we get ready to respawn. So this purple one goes there, and this other white one goes right there. I still think we're in okay shape, because we can do a bunch of research now. So let's reroll. Six, five, four, and two threes. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'll put a six here, if I've done my math right. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. That's fine. No, oh, I'm sorry. That's not what I wanted. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm putting the six here. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm placing a four here. And a five here. I re-roll and I think I just need a four or higher. So I've got a five and a three. So I'll use the three here and move the excavator for free. Even though it's uh, only going two spaces. And now the ship in that column comes down three. And I'll place the five here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, five. Nothing, nothing. And this brings down the mothership. So we won't have this now. And now let's go. So I'm going to spend two energy to do four research. One, two, three, four. Um, I suppose I'm going to spend one energy. No, I don't need to. The excavator was already handled. I don't need to spend any energy there. So now this one is five energy. One, two, three, four, five. And I get 16 research. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, plus seven is going to be 15. What did I say? I get 16. So there's a one. Great. Now these have been used. The mothership comes down and there is no effect on this level and there are no other ships to spawn. Um, I guess the one other thing I can do is I'll use this pilot's ability, um, shoot down one enemy ship on an explosion space and that is this one. So this white ship is gone. And I think that was a good use of it. So we're gonna turn the pilot sideways so I remember that that's been done. And now we can roll again. A six, two threes, and two ones. So here's what I think I'm going to do. I'm going to place a one here so nothing moves there. And a one. Boy, I want to put a one there, but I'd also like to use a six. I also need some energy. We're going to go ahead and place a six here. So this is going to hit one, two, three, four, five, six. So I get one damage. I think this will be worth it. Now I re-roll. Oof. Okay. That could have been better. I'm going to put this one here because I need a re-roll. Four and a one. That's not good. <laughs> yeah, that's going to mess me up. Well, okay, let's get something out of it. If I put a four, man, that stinks. Okay, I'm going to put a, I'm going to put a four here. So this moves for free. One, two, three, four. And now I'm going to put a one here. Can't do that. <laughs> Um, I can't do either of those things. I was going to put the four here. Um, that would be legal. There's nothing in that column. I guess this one's just going to go here and that's it. Um, this is kind of a busted round. So these do nothing. This can come back now. And this is going to be six minus two is four energy. One, two, three, four. Now the mothership's going to come down. Scoop up the ship. We add a white one. Get ready to respawn. So we need a purple one here. A purple one here. Oh my goodness, this middle row. This one's going to have to go in the middle row. That's rough. And now I re-roll. Five 
five, a four, a two, and two ones. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try and make up for last time. We're gonna put this one here, so nothing moves. And we're gonna put this four, one, two, three, four. Nope. Um, the math didn't work on that. Shoot. Well, that'll still be fine. We'll put the four here. So this comes down one, two, three, four. And I re-roll. Okay. I'm going to put this six here. To move this down five. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to place this six here, which is only going to move the excavator two spaces. Um, right? That can't be right. No. I'm going to place this here, which will move the excavator all six spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'll place the three um, here. So this comes down two. Okay, so these three go away. I can pay one energy to move the excavator. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I can pay two energy to do four plus two, so six damage. So this is destroyed permanently. Three and four, these both come off. This is a three, so this comes off. That one's a seven, so not enough for that one. Um, so sort of a stalling round, but that's okay. The mothership comes down and pushes back the excavator one space. And now I get ready to redeploy. So a purple one here, and here, and this one here. Let's roll again. So two fours and three ones. All right, so I want to put one of these uh, ones. Well, I'm going to place this one here, I think. And now this one here, which moves the excavator one space for free. Uh, and this comes down one. And now I re-roll. I think I'll put this five here and re-roll again. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Don't forget that. Six and a three. So I can put the six here. And what about the three? I'm going to need some energy, so I better put it... Oh, wait, I have some energy. I suppose I'll put it here. That should be fine. One, two, three. So this does nothing. I will, uh, oh, this does nothing also. I will spend two energy, one, two, to gain six research, which moves me up one spot. Uh, that might not have been very wise, I'm now seeing. Um, I'll spend one energy to get three plus three, which is six damage, so that takes out this one. And now I get five plus one, which is six energy. Now the mothership moves down and I lose that research. So that was not a great move. Uh, and this is going to deploy there. So let's roll again. Now we're getting kind of close to the end and I got to finish this off with research. Six, two fives and two ones. That's pretty helpful. Here's what I'll do. I'm going to bite the bullet on this spot. Take one. It's one hit. That moves down. That moves down. So that'll come back. And I'll place the six here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's unfortunate. So this comes down. And now I re-roll. Six, four, and two. I'm placing the six in this spot. One, two, three, four, five, six. And the two here. One, two. So this four will have to go in the right column. And I'm going to put that in this spot here. 
one, two, three, four. Okay. Uh, so we'll start with this. We've got six and one, so seven research, and this is six and one. Uh, this is another four minus one, and that's three. And now here we're going to pay four. One, two, three, four. And we will do six damage. So that's going to take out this one. And we'll also make a robot of level six. Uh, probably about time on that. I'm going to place it here. Now the mothership moves down to space. I'm going to take one damage. And this will spawn here. This will redeploy here. And this one's here. It's getting pretty full. Let's re-roll. I can, can almost see the end. It'll be close. It's worked out okay. I'm going to put this three here. One, two, three. I'm going to put a four here. So this comes down one, two, three, four, and I can re-roll. Boy, I don't love that. I'm going to place this three and hope for better luck. Um, wait, that's, is that where I'm putting it? Where am I putting this three? Scratch that. I'll actually place this five here. So this is going to come down and be a strike. I'm taking a huge risk here. I really need a one, so I'm going to re-roll this one. So I take another hit. I'm getting low. Re-roll, and I really, really need a one. Five. That is not helpful. Well, I guess that'll work. I'm going to place the five here. So this is going to hit. And one, two, three, four, five. So I cannot take any more hits. Um, so now we're in the room phase. So this comes back. Uh, this one's kind of irrelevant. But this one is going to do for one energy. Five, six, seven, eight damage. Uh, which is going to take out all of these. So that comes back. That comes back. This one's done. This comes back. So that was probably worth it. Uh, this is four plus one, so five energy. One, two, three, four, five. And now six plus three. Uh, so five, six, and then three. So this is gone. This goes down to a five. And the mothership comes down one. And we get ready to respawn. And it's going to be a full board. With the uh, just for the symmetry of it, we'll put the orange one here. <laughs> now we re roll. If I can roll a six, I just need one six and I'll be okay. And I got one, but let's uh, let's use up some of this other stuff too. I suppose it doesn't really matter. Uh, we'll put this, we'll just do the six. We need the six here. Okay, and now we re-roll, and everything else should sort of be incidental. Uh, another six, a four, a two, and a three. No, it's not totally incidental. I can't uh, can't move the mothership down. Then I will lose. So we'll go ahead and put this two right here. So this comes down one. Um, this four can go here. One, two, three. It's totally fine for this six here. One, two, three, four, five. And then this three can go here. One, two. Okay, so now these do nothing. And I have six and five. That's 11, and that is just enough to complete the research. Uh, this goes down to four. And uh, that's it. That was the very last thing, because the the next step was move down the mothership and lose the game. So I had no health left, no more mothership moves. It went down to the wire. Uh, at least I remembered to use the uh, the character's ability this time. So uh, it was helpful that the pilot could take out one of the ships. Uh, so I'm really liking this campaign so far. 
Um, I hope you're enjoying this too. Uh, <laughs> that, was, that was that was close. So that's that's always fun when it's close. Uh, so next time in the next video on this series, I will open up uh, all the contents of chapter two and play uh, play the first level in there. So uh, if you're still here, feel free to subscribe and leave a like. That would be cool. Uh, leave some comments, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks. Thank you.